So I think that what we found or developed is that uh, we're going in there and working with services on the ground and what they really need to understand is where to start and what's a priority for them because we knew from um, the literature out there about um, what's important for making outcome measurement be embedded and lead to, to good data quality and from kind of the behaviour change literature and also from the uh, sharing of experience by all of our member services we knew quite a lot about what can help in different contexts and places and it spanned um, a real range of types of things that you might do and we were finding that a lot of services were saying oh we think we must need some training because we're not getting very very good use and data flow from our, our outcome measurement um, policies. Um, and so what we did was we devised a bit of a framework which people could use um, in order to kind of self-assess and understand what they were doing well and what they were perhaps not doing so well in relation to those huge range of areas that they might look at um, to improve um, how things were working. Um, and the kind of four main areas that we found was that it's really important to have your leadership and management right, to have that clear vision, to have the kind of buy-in and drive and to know that actually things are being looked at at the top, that your, your outcome stuff is going somewhere. Really important as well to have the staff, staff development and for people to have had the training and support and to understand how to use the tools to kind of feel natural introducing them in their work and to feel like they are going to be a meaningful part of their practice. Um, but also, and this is the one that people always start talking about first, that it does help if your infrastructure and your processes are in place. And if that's amazing IT, that's amazing. But it really doesn't have to be a bit about IT. Sometimes it's about using different coloured pieces of paper or about, you know, definitely knowing who puts the information in the computer when and so that kind of information management aspect of things and then there's a the service user experience and most practitioners really are driven by what's good for the young people they're working with or the children and families and so to kind of have an approach which is really driven by what's important and valuable to those people uh, is really important for practitioners in doing that meaningful so there's a kind of load of actions and things you can do to get all those four domains right and you need to know what's going to be the best bang for my buck because I've got loads of change improvement going on so we support people to self-assess and say here are all the best practice things you could be doing against each of those areas what are you doing now and what are you not doing now and we get them to do a big staff survey that looks at all those areas too because people often believe they're doing things but sadly actually the reality is a bit more clunky or a bit messier than, than they believe and of course we look at the data flows and other kinds of information that they've got and then we look across that and we say okay well here are all the areas that you could work on and do a bit more on let's prioritize and decide what's going to be most important for you and put an action plan in place and um we're kind of quite chuffed because we've recently had the support of a PhD student to look across uh, a bundle of those staff surveys from about kind of eight or nine I think of the service settings we were working in and so she's kind of crunched some stats around it and she's found quite a kind of significant correlation between people doing the things that we believed were a good idea based on the research and behaviour change and actually people doing more uh, routine outcome measurement and actually using those tools and flowing more data to their systems so we're quite confident that those are the important things to do and those are the tools to use and we're just hoping now that we'll be able to fill in the rest of the picture and see, well, if you use our best practice framework, you definitely um, have positive impact in terms of your, um, the data that you're getting and the level of outcome measurement used, but we haven't quite got that research yet.